J. Lava Presents Pimp History A pimp is happy when his whores giggle. He knows they are still asleep. All whores have one thing in common just like the chumps humping for the white boss. It thrills them when the pimps makes mistakes. They watch and wait for his downfall. A pimp is the loneliest bastard on earth. He's got to know his whores. He can't let them know him. He's got to be God all the way. Pimp. The story of my life. Iceberg Slam. Read by Carrie Height. Forward. Dawn was breaking as the big hog scooted through the streets. My five whores were chattering like drunk magpies. I smelled the stink that only a street whore has after a long, busy night. The inside of my nose was raw. It happens when you're a pig for snorting cocaine. My nose was on fire and the stink of those whores and the gangster they were smoking seemed like invisible knives scraping to the root of my brain. I was in an evil, dangerous mood despite that pile of scratch crammed into the glove compartment. God damn it, has one of you bitches shit on herself or something? I bellowed as I flipped the long window toward me. For a long moment, there was silence. Then Rachel, my bottom whore, cracked in a pleasing ass-kissing voice. Daddy, baby, that ain't no shit you smell. We have been turning all night and ain't no bathrooms in those Trix's cars we have been flipping out of. Daddy, we sure been humping for you, and what you smell is our nasty whore asses. I grin widely, inside, of course. The best pimps keep a steel lid on their emotions, and I was one of the iciest. The whores went into fits and giggles at Rachel's shaky witticism. A pimp is happy when his whores giggle. He knows they are still asleep. I coasted the hog into the curb outside the hotel where Kim, my newest, prettiest girl, was cribbing. Jesus. I would be glad to drop the last whore off so I can get to my own hotel to nurse my nose with cocaine and be alone. Any good pimp is his own best company. His inner life is so rich with cunning and scheming to outthink his whores. As Kim got out, I said, Good night, baby. Today is Saturday, so I want everybody in the street at noon instead of seven tonight. I said noon. Not five minutes after or two minutes after, but at 12 noon sharp, I want you down. Got it, baby? She didn't answer, but she did a strange thing. She walked into the street around the hog to the window on my side. She stood looking at me for a long moment, her beautiful face tense in the dim dawn. Then in her crisp New England accent, she said, are you coming back to my pad this morning? You haven't spent a night with me in a month, so come back, okay? A good pimp doesn't get paid for screwing. He gets his payoff for always having the right thing to say to a whore right on lightning tap. I knew my four whores were flapping their ears to get my reaction to this beautiful bitch. A pimp with an overly fine bitch in his stable has to keep his game tight. Whores constantly probe for weakness in a pimp. I fitted a scary mask on my face and said in a low, deadly voice, Bitch, are you insane? No bitch in this family calls any shots or muscles me to do anything. Now take your stinking yellow ass upstairs to a bath and some shut-eye and get in the street at noon like I told you. The bitch just stood there, her eyes slitted in anger. I could sense she was game to play the string out right there in the street before my horse. If I had been ten years dumber, I would have leaned out of that hog and broken her jaw and put my foot in her ass, but the joint was too fresh in my mind. I knew the bitch was trying to booby trap me when she spat out her invitation. Come on, kick my ass. 
What the hell do I need with the man I only see when he comes to get his money? I am sick of it all. I don't dig stables and never will. I know I'm the new bitch who has to prove herself. Well, goddammit, I am sick of this shit. I'm cutting out. She stopped for air and lit a cigarette. I was going to blast her ass off when she finished. So I just sat there staring at her. Then she went on. I have turned more tricks in the three months I have been with you than in the whole two years with Paul. My pussy stays sore and swollen. Do I get my ass kicked before I split? If so, kick it now because I'm going back to Providence on the next thing smoking. She was young, fast, with trick appeal galore. She was a pimp's dream and she knew it. She had tested me with her beef and now she was lying back for a sucker response. I disappointed her with my cold overlay. I could see her wilt as I said in an icy voice. Listen, square-ass bitch. I have never had a whore I couldn't do without. I celebrate bitch when a whore leaves me. It gives some worthy bitch a chance to take her place and be a star. You scurvy bitch. If I shit in your face, you gotta love it and open your mouth wide. The rollers cruised by in a squad car, so I flashed a sucker smile on my face and cooled it until they passed. Kim was rooted there, wincing under the blizzard. I went on ruthlessly. Bitch, you are nothing but a funky zero. Before me, you had one chilly chump with no rep. Nobody except his mother ever heard of the bastard. Yes, bitch. I'll be back this morning to put your phony ass on the train. I rocketed away from the curb. In the rearview mirror, I saw Kim walking slowly into the hotel. Her shoulders slumped. In the hog, until I dropped the last haul off, you could have heard a mosquito crapping on the moon. I had tested out for them. Solid ice. I went back for Kim. She was packed and silent. On the way to the station, I rifled the pages in that pimp's book in my head for an angle to hold her without kissing her ass. I couldn't find a line in it for an out like that. As it turned out, the bitch was testing and bluffing right down the line. We had pulled into the station parking lot when the bitch fell to pieces. Her eyes were misty when she yelped, Daddy, are you really going to let me split? Daddy, I love you! I started the Pratt action to cinch her when I said, Bitch, I don't want a hoe with rabbit in her. I want a bitch who wants me for life. You have got to go after that bullshit earlier this morning. You are not that bitch. That Pratt butchered her, and she collapsed into my lap crying and begging to stay. I had a theory about splitting hoes. I think they seldom split without a bankroll. So I cracked on her. Give me that scratch you held out, and maybe I'll give you another chance. Sure enough, she reached into her bosom and drew out close to five bills and handed it to me. No pimp with a brain in his head cuts loose a young, beautiful whore with lots of mileage left in her. I let her come back. When at long last I was driving toward my hotel, I remember what Baby Jones, the master pimp who turned me out, had said about whores like Kim. Slim, he had said. A pretty nigga bitch and a white whore just alike. They both will get in a stable to wreck it and leave the pimp on his ass with no whore. You gotta make him hump hard and fast to stick him for the long scratch quick. Slim, pimpin' ain't no game of love, so pride him and keep your swipe out of him. Any sucker who believe a whore loves him shouldn't have fell out of his mammy's ass. My mind went back to Pepper, then back even further, and I remember what he had said about the Georgia. Slim, a pimp is really a whore who has reversed the game on whores. So Slim, be as sweet as the scratch, no sweeter, and always stick a whore for a bundle before you sex her. A whore ain't nothing but a trick to a pimp. Don't let him Georgia you. Always get your money in front just like a whore. 
On the elevator riding to my pad, I thought about the first bitch who had Georgian me and how she had flim flam me out of my head. She would be old and gray now, but if I could find her, I would sure get the bitch's unpaid account off my conscience. Hot, 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 hot